Okay, now we are going to be doing the new update methods. I have two main update methods that I use when I'm programming games, but it depends what kind of game I am using. Right now, I am going to show you the uh, thread dot stop bool thread dot stop and running uh, type. So we're gonna make a private thread animator. Now we're going to do a private volatile boolean running equals false. Down here we want to do make sure running equals false. And we want to do um What do we want to do? I guess we'll do the Hive Avoid Start Game first. Start Game. If Animator equals null or not running. For Booleans, you can do this not symbol before it, and that means it equals false. So if it is false, Animator equals new thread this animator dot start just so you know I will not be using this method in the next tutorials so you can just skip on to the next method if you would like but it is good to learn this because I may use it in one of my tutorials so now that we have that we need to actually call start game somehow so do public void add notify now we want to do super dot add notify. This makes add notify super, which makes it, which makes add notify called as soon as the J frame is created, which will start the game, and it only calls it once. So now we want to do start game. So that calls the start game method. So now we have started the game, and animator dot start has started running, which is a thread. Now we want to actually do what updates the game. So up here after extends J panel, you want to do implements runnable. Just do implements runnable. Now down here, anywhere you want, just do public void run. It cannot be private or it will not work. Now do while, so this is while it's running while running game render paint screen so what this does is it calls game render and paint screen as fast as it can well at a safe speed that your computer can what I find the only problem with this is is it runs as fast as your browser can run it unless you're using a jar file which it will run as fast as your computer can run it at a safe speed so your character will pretty much move differently depending on computers and if your computer has a lag spike it will stop moving for a second and create lag that is why I don't like this method but anyways you do try thread dot sleep 15 seconds you can 15 milliseconds you can change it around 25 is about too generous and 10 is about too low so I like to do 15 20 or 18 or something like that but I'll just do 15 and then catch for this you have to do an interrupted exception yeah did exception and just do that or it will not work so pretty much what this does it runs it as fast as your computer can and then thread dot sleep to give like give the other things in this time to run <sighs> okay now it will draw the circle wait screen while running oh i forgot to do you have to do run in public void run you have to do running equals true here we go. 
Okay. See, now it draws this and deletes the background. The background is so that, yeah, yeah, I won't explain the background right now, but as you can see, it draws the circle. And you can change the size of it down here by doing 200. See, like so. And then I'll show you what drawing it does. Okay, it is recording. Good. See, draws it like so. I think I forgot to zoom it in this whole time. Oops, whatever. I'll just go over what we did. We added implements runnable. Running equals true while running, blah, 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 blah. Uh, thread dot sleep, start game, running equals false. Okay, now we are going to do my favorite way, which is action listener. This sets it at a speed, and no matter what, it will run at this speed. So you can delete the thread and, oh yeah, and it's way easier. You can delete the private thread animator, delete private volatile boolean running, delete that, delete the whole start game method, delete public void run, delete add notify, Okay, now we're all set. And this is so simple. Just go into the public J frame, do timer T, name it whatever you want. I just name it T. New timer. How fast do you want your game to update? I like to do it at 20 milliseconds and then do this. So the game will update at 20 milliseconds, which I forget what it is. I forget how many frames per second that is, but it is a good amount of frames per second now we do t dot start which starts the timer now down here do public void action performed action event e now what the this does is every time the timer loops which is after 20 milliseconds it calls action performed so whatever is in action performed will be calls so game render will be called and paint screen will be called every 20 milliseconds drawing it okay see now that was way easier than the thread dot sleep method and all that and you can set a frame rate and stuff which I absolutely love about it so those were my two favorite update methods, Action Listener being my favorite and what I will most likely use in the other tutorials. Okay, thanks for watching guys.